It's Friday, July 3rd. I'm Lucy Steiner. And I'm Sam Cedar. Which of these stories will you be talking about today? Confirmed cases of coronavirus are rising in 40 states, according to the Associated Press. Trump will speak at Mount Rushmore today, once again, we expect, without a mask. Meanwhile, a new study finds that up to 60% of fish face extinction due to climate change if nothing is done. The consequences to the ecosystem would be catastrophic. And lastly, federal prosecutors in New York arrest Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's alleged accomplice. She was hiding in New Hampshire in a luxury home. You are listening to Majority FM's AM Quickie, and these are the stories you need to know. Donald Trump will be holding another of his hate rallies tonight, this time at Mount Rushmore. Masks will be optional. South Dakota's Republican governor, Kristi Noem, says wearing a mask or not is a personal choice. Public health officials fear another surge in cases as a result of the rally. There will also be a large pyrotechnics display. About that, the former superintendent of Mount Rushmore National Memorial, who retired last year, told PBS that it's not a good idea to light fireworks in the middle of the forest. Native American groups are not pleased about Trump's decision to come and spread a deadly disease on their sacred lands. Tribal members from the same area plan to protest Trump's rally. In a statement this week, Harold Frazier, chairman of the Cheyenne River Sioux, said the faces on Mount Rushmore serve as a constant reminder of deceit and oppression. He said, quote, we are now being forced to witness the lashing of our land with pomp, arrogance and fire, hoping our sacred lands will survive. Visitors look upon the faces of those presidents and extol the virtues that they believe make America the country it is today. Lakota see the faces of the men who lied, cheated, and murdered innocent people whose only crime was living on the land they wanted to steal, unquote. Frazier volunteered to take down the monument himself if necessary. Honestly, I don't see why anyone should stop him. Vice President Mike Pence made a personal choice to wear a mask at a rally yesterday. More and more Republican officials, minus Trump, are wearing masks in public as coronavirus case numbers spiral out of control. Pence was visiting Florida just as state health officials confirmed 10,000 new cases in a single day. Former Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain also made a personal choice to wear a mask at Trump's rally two weeks ago in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yesterday, Cain confirmed that he tested positive for COVID-19 and was hospitalized with serious symptoms, but per his statement, remains confident that with God's help, he will soon resume hosting duties for the two talk shows he hosts, one on his personal website and another on Newsmax TV. A new study published in the journal Science suggests 60% of fish species will die off by the end of the century. The reason? Climate change. The researchers examined how warming weather temperatures affected 700 different species of fish, both freshwater and seawater varieties. The expected rates of extinction are so dire because higher water temperatures interfere with fish embryos, as well as with the development of young fish. 60% was a worst case scenario in the study based on temperatures that are 7 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit higher than pre-industrial levels. But it's also a conservative measure of how fish might be affected by climate change because it doesn't take into account several other related problems such as ocean acidification and overfishing. In the best case scenario in the study, only 10% of fish species went extinct by the end of the century. However, scientists told The Guardian that best case scenarios are especially difficult to model. That's because losing one species can throw the whole ecosystem out of whack, not just underwater, but on land as well. Some of the at-risk species are commercially harvested, including Atlantic cod, swordfish, Pacific salmon, and Pacific cod, which as The Guardian notes, is used to produce frozen fish sticks. Separately, Gizmodo reported that ongoing wildfires in Siberia have released record amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. So maybe don't sweat the best case scenario too much. Hey, Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off of your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. All shipping, of course, is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. Jeffrey Epstein's alleged accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell, has been in hiding since before the late sex trafficker died in prison last year. But today, she is in federal custody. Maxwell was arrested yesterday by agents with the Federal Bureau of Investigation at the direction of Audrey Strauss, acting U.S. Attorney General for the Southern District of New York. Her case is a sordid tale of conspiracy and corruption. Maxwell allegedly helped Epstein recruit, groom, and abuse girls as young as 14 for his elite sex trafficking ring. 
dozens of girls were abused by Epstein, Maxwell, and their associates at properties in New York City, Palm Beach, Florida, New Mexico, London, England, and elsewhere. Maxwell herself has been photographed with an astonishingly long list of the wealthy, powerful, and famous. She is the daughter of British media tycoon Robert Maxwell. Prosecutors also provided some insight as to how Maxwell has been living this past year since Epstein's death. Using shell companies and cash transfers, she purchased a luxury home on a large property in small town Bradford, New Hampshire. She was reportedly arrested there without incident yesterday morning. Later in the day, a judge reportedly remanded her to the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service. During the telephonic hearing, a woman with a British accent, whom several reporters said could be Maxwell, was heard pleading and sobbing. Before the line was muted, the woman said, quote, I don't understand, I don't understand, unquote, according to the Miami Herald. Epstein's victims praised Maxwell's arrest. One attorney representing more than 20 victims told the Herald that her arrest was a long time coming and that his clients feel relieved that justice is being served. And now for some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. Several countries, notably the U.S., Britain, Taiwan, Australia, are making preparations to take in refugees from Hong Kong as China arrests hundreds of dissidents there. Thousands more await trial. Advocates told the Washington Post that they don't know what to expect with China's new security law in Hong Kong, and they're advising protesters who catch serious charges to leave the country if they can. The German government this week disbanded a special forces unit riddled with Nazi ties. The parliamentary commissioner for defense said urgent action was needed to not only disband the KSK, but to root out the extent of fascist influence in the armed forces. 20 KSK commandos from the force of 1400 are being investigated for far-right ties. But the scandal goes deeper as large quantities of explosives and ammunition are missing. The U.S. government is attempting to seize four gasoline tankers en route from Iran to Venezuela in an escalation of sanctions and other destabilizing measures by the right-wing superpower against the left-leaning oil state. U.S. prosecutors filed a lawsuit seeking court permission to seize the tankers on Wednesday, the Wall Street Journal first reported. Yesterday, that suit was followed by allowing U.S. forces to seize more than a million gallons of gas on board the four ships. Next, expect a U.S. court to order Venezuela to stop hitting itself. Police in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, released body camera footage this week showing cops laughing and celebrating after shooting protesters with rubber bullets, NBC reported. Among other outrageous remarks, an officer can be heard bragging, did you see me F up those motherfuckers? No, missed that, but can't wait to see you lose your job. Quicker, quickie. That's all for the AM Quickie today. Join us this afternoon on the Majority Report. 